Hey guys, it's me Habiba and I'm finally back with a new YouTube video. I don't know how long it's been since I last uploaded but I'm finally back. So as you guys can probably tell from the title, I am recreating an outfit that Blair Waldorf wore in Gossip Girl. Believe it or not, I just watched Gossip Girl for the first time. I'm absolutely obsessed with it now and my favorite character is obviously Blair Waldorf and I wanted to make her outfit since literally the first episode I was like this girl style like I am obsessed so I'm gonna be making this outfit it's fairly simple I did some research on the outfit as well and obviously how to make it while I was researching about this outfit I actually found out that this outfit is from Zara kids and like yeah, it's basically like a kid's outfit that they used. I'm gonna explain each and every step of how you can make it too if you thought it's a cute outfit. Blair wore this outfit while she was skating with her dad, I think. But I think it's a cute like winter look. Also feel like her outfits are really relevant to today as well. Like especially with the old money aesthetic being really popular. So yeah, follow along and watch me make the outfit. So in terms of fabric, I got my fabric from a local bazaar I got it from Lahore Center so it's basically like very similar to the fabric that Blair was wearing and I really wanted to get it because it had like pink in it tone of the fabric is more brown and Blair's is more gray but this is as close as it gets you guys I'm also gonna show you guys like this was the first store I visited in the entire like bazaar and it had this fabric just out on the front so this was meant to be I was like I need to get this so this is what we're gonna be using and it's not that heavy it's like medium heavy I would say but a good like winter autumn fabric so let's get into it guys the first step to making this outfit I'm gonna start with the top well it's essentially a circle skirt if you want to make any type of cape for yourself even a longer one or a heavier one for the winter you literally just need to use this formula for a circle skirt and I'm gonna tell you guys how exactly to use this formula as well this formula for a circle skirt the measurement that you usually use is your waist but in this this case we're going to be using our neck as the waist and then the rest is just like a skirt first things first let's measure our neck and it should be obviously a little loose so that it's like comfortable for you and then I'm gonna add like a few inches over because um in Blair's outfit the like circle skirt it kind of buttons over so you're gonna need like a few inches over that so I have measured 20.5 inches and then for the length of your top you're basically just gonna measure it from your neck down to wherever you want it from what I can tell of Blair's outfit it's like till her elbow so I'm gonna measure it till my elbow 18 18.5 inches is the length I'm gonna keep now we're gonna make the circle skirt and yeah I'm gonna show you guys how I measure it on the cloth as well so once you have your fabric laid out like this you're gonna fold it once and then you're gonna fold it again so once we have it folded, it should look something like this and we are going to be cutting here using the measurement that we got and you're going to be cutting here where there's two folds here and then we have the other fold here. So I used the formula and I got a measurement of 3 inches and something and then starting from here I used my measurement from my neck to my elbow and I just measured it all around. that's like the rest of the outfit we have cut out the cape and we've cut out the lining and now we're basically going to move on to the next step so the next step is I'm gonna cut it line down the middle of the cape and the lining and that's basically gonna be our flap 
for the cape i cut like a line through and now i have like my opening and i've pinned the neckline of the lining and the main fabric together and i've done that right sides together so that when we flip it open it's gonna be like the right side facing out with it i feel like it looks identical to the blair waldorf like original or maybe even better i don't know like if you just want to do a cape for yourself it's so so simple and i feel like it ends up looking like a really expensive piece um it probably would have taken me like only a day to complete this i just like taking breaks in between so it took me two days to make the entire cape um so it's a very quick and easy like project now we are gonna start working on the skirt and i have everything ready for the skirt the skirt is really simple as well it's basically a circle skirt i was considering doing like a pleated skirt but then i wanted it to be as close to the original like look as i could and the original is a circle skirt so i'm just gonna do that for the skirt i've already cut out all the pattern pieces it was really simple like anyone can make this pattern it's the same thing you use a circle skirt formula instead of your neck this time you're gonna use your waist i added in like a couple of inches i think like four inches to the waist because i want to do an elastic waistband at the back and like a normal waistband at the front that way i get to avoid doing like a zipper i hate sewing zippers like i hate it if i can avoid it i will avoid it let me show you guys the pattern pieces so this is half of the circle skirt i have the waistband cut out this is the back waistband which is pretty long because this is where the elastic is gonna come the front waistband which is tiny in comparison then i have some net i had this left over from when i made the lyrica matoshi strawberry dress and this was pink but i got it dyed to like a brown so yeah that is the update and now let's start the skirt so that we have the whole outfit ready guys so we are almost finished i have my skirt here and i've attached like a layer of two and now what i have left is just attaching the waistband here i have my elastic i ordered some one inch wide elastic for this task so here's what i've done to attach the waistband i've pinned it here and obviously it does not fit because it's shorter so i've pinned it to the other end as well and now what i'm gonna do is just keep stretching it as i sew it on so that hopefully it fits this entire length by the way guys check out my nails i did them myself and i think they look so cute i got the nail polish from aliexpress i really want to do a nail video to show you guys how i do gel nails at home because these are my real hands and then this is with the gel nails and it just looks like a different person's hand honestly what i'm gonna do now to attach the elastic is i'm gonna do a zigzag stitch so let's switch this to a zigzag that's how it looks honestly looks pretty cute like i wouldn't mind doing this as a finish on like sleeves or something this is what the back looks like and then the front is going to be totally neat and tidy like this now we basically just have to attach the waistband on now i have uh, like pinned down the waistband i ironed it and then i pinned it down and this is what it looks like from the front and from the back i added loads of pins because this is going to be a little difficult to stitch because of the elastic or 
are done with the skirt this is what the waistband looks like and now we need to just attach buttons here Blair skirt had four buttons to here and then two above that but I don't think this waistband is big enough so I'm just gonna do two buttons I got um, some buttons from Liberty London like ages ago and I was like I don't have any buttons what do I do and then I just randomly found these this is what the buttons look like I think they're pretty cute so I'm just gonna hand sew these on and then I will show you guys the final result now